Hi. So you understand from the previous video that there are certain ways you can monitor yourself uh, during the reintroduction of iodide and iodine. That's heart rate and also body temperature. And now this next presentation is about using labs at the end of this four to six week period of time to uh, make another, another more objective assessment. So on the, the cells, we're in the second phase. We're going to talk about some lab testing now and also about what happens during this second phase. Remember, we've increased, we're, we've increased the iodide and iodine uh, over the, about a month's period of time. Uh, there's going to be an increase in the production of thyroid stimulating hormone and an increased uh, production of those hormones. So here we are back again at the beginning of phase two and just go through this chronologically about what's going to happen. So we have an increase in TSH, which stimulates the thyroid to make more of its own thyroid hormones. We want to uh, start to de decrease the prescription. The ideal is to reduce the prescription as far as we possibly can. Hopefully, if there's not been a lot of scarring or damage to the thyroid gland, then it should be able to pick up uh, in its own production of thyroid hormones. So um, when the uh, endogenous production of thyroid hormones go up, there may be an increase in heart rate. Therefore, you must decrease the prescription um, to about half or to about three quarters what we were taking before. The TSH will again continue to increase. The endogenous production also increases. Again, time to reduce the prescription. Until finally we're at the point where TSH is fairly normal, hopefully around 2.0, and the T4 production is coming close to its optimal range as well. After, at the end of this six week period of time, because uh, the increase in iodide and iodide was to three milligrams, um, and then we wait for another two weeks, and then we do the hormone, the, the hormone test, which I'll refer to you now. So we're going to check TSH again to make sure that the um, pituitary is responding to the iodide and iodine. We want to make sure um, or to find out how much of the primary hormone T4 is being produced uh, by the thyroid cells. Remember, we want to find out T4 on a lab test or thyroxin is the combination of both the bound T4 and the free T4. So we want to also know about the binding. Is there excess binding of the, of the T4 thyroid hormone? So we want to know about not only T4, which is bound and free, but also the free T4. Remember again that T4 is not the primary activating thyroid hormone. It must be converted to uh, the T3. So we want to know also in this lab test how much free and available T3 we have. And it's also a good time to check for thyroid antibodies to make sure they're not, uh, not rising, which they should not at this point. And if they're normal, then it's time to move to phase three, which is really the optimizing of thyroid hormone production, metabolism, and utilization. So that's about it for phase two. Um, now going into phase three is uh, really uh, a subject which is true or applicable to people that either have had Hashimoto's or that don't have Hashimoto's who are looking to optimize thyroid hormone production. And uh, that's the subject of the next video, which is the phase three and the optimization of thyroid hormones.